Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Had kids. I'm Q the Coast Rican, and today we're back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi and Beatles. Today we're using the same Malamar X Chestnut team uh, that we used the other day, where Belly Drum Chestnut kind of just popped the fuck off. Today we're hoping that somebody else can do something more. Maybe Malamar could be Azelf, probably Enam. That's probably the e the better contrary user on the team. Uh, but you know. You know we're rocking out with it. If you guys want to check out the Poke Pace, uh, it is in the description down below for all the intricacies of the EV spreads. But everything is actually pretty much just max speed and max into their attacking stat. You know, physical attack for Cinderace and special attack for Enam and vice versa for everybody else. You know what I mean? Uh, but regardless, use the team at your own discretion. Very fun. Very cool. We got sticky webs. We got we got hitters. We got Azelf with a life orb. What more do you want? Uh, we also got double edge Cinderace, which I haven't been able to pull off yet, but I really hope I can today. Because after you court change... You turn into a normal type, and normally you're like, damn, now I don't have a stab move. But I put double edge on that bitch. So we're going to be clicking stab double edge with Cinderace potentially. It could be really fun. Um, but yeah, man, this is the team that we are going to be using today and try and find some random battles. If you want to use the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner, XQK. 4F9, let me know in the comment section down below if you end up using the team and how it went for you as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see me use in the future. Let me know that as well in the comment section down below but with that being said guys i uh, hope you all like the video i hope you all subscribe if you're new and i hope you all enjoy the battle this is all right y'all here we are with the first battle using the same chestnut slash malamar i guess slash azelf team um this looks very interesante i think azelf looks like a solid lead if they lead fluttermane we cry because we will probably just run honestly if they lead fluttermane we're just gonna run away <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Oh, uh, but yeah, Dondozo and Cloudsire are kind of somewhat prevent Malamar from doing anything, unfortunately. But um, Azov still looks really good. So I'm going to lead off with it, mainly just because I think they lead off with the Glimmy. And this would, at the very least, entice them to uh, um, attack us instead of getting up hazards, which honestly really don't matter because I can court change them pretty much at any time because they're almost always gonna go well maybe if they're not if they're, if they're in with like your shifu they probably still attack but um if they're in with something like don dozo i mean no if they're in with okay they let flutter man of course they did <laughs> why wouldn't they you know why wouldn't they uh, i don't know if azov dies i'm gonna be honest i feel like i definitely die i, I don't have a flutter main check this team wasn't designed to try and deal with flutter mains you know what i mean um yeah, I just sacked to it. I can't do anything else. I don't want to tear a turn. Oh, perfect. I don't want to tear a turn one. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Does Fluttermane, Oko, Azelf? Let's find out together, folks. I mean, we have Life Orb Psy Shock, so this should do a decent amount, I would think. Almost killed. That's pretty nice. Um, so anyways, Azelf. I mean, the way to stop this, or not stop this, but the way to, like, not die to this, or not die... But the way to not lose to this Pokemon is to, um, hold on. I just want to see if I Terra Fire. Shadow Ball still kills me. Okay, so they probably just click Shadow Ball here. Um, yeah, I mean, we're sacking something. It shouldn't be this, because this is like, ah, uh, no, we got Enam still. We got Enam still. Um, but yeah, we have to sack something and then, like, Terra. Oh, uh, we can sack something and go Rebound Bay, actually, and Stun Spore. Or just hit them. I think we should just hit them, honestly. Um, But yeah, super huge threat. Very, very annoying. Alright, well... Oh, the kiss! Wait! Wait! This is this is so good! We killed him! Yeah, we killed him! That was the same range. I almost, I'm so glad I just clicked Psyshock again. I almost randomly clicked... Like, uh... Dr what is this roll? I almost randomly clicked, uh, Mystical Power. Thinking that, you know what I mean? I, uh, what's it called? Um, I, I guess it's not that threatening anymore. I could probably go Cinderace and Revenge. I don't need to waste my, uh, Sash on this. Um, but yeah, we'll Thunderbolt for no reason. Crazy. Alright, so I mean, it's Calm Mind, Draining Kiss, Fluttermane. I guess it's Fizzdef? Because I feel like Life Orb, Psy Shock. I feel like Life Orb, Psy Shock should have killed. You know what I mean? Is this like the physically defensive Fluttermane shenanigans? Yeah, no, 100%. It is. Okay. Because Life Orb Psy Shock, a million and 10% killed. So, does it have to be like... Wait, it has to be like... Okay, it could just be max HP, actually. Could be max HP and two very low... No, it's definitely max phase death. So, honestly... Because we didn't see a booster energy pop. 
honestly, I'm pretty confident that, like, Cinderace actually, like, is faster. So, I mean, let's go find out. <laughs> let's just find out. Is Cinderace faster? Everybody wants to know. Big Pyro Ball. Charm. Okay, this is... This is the FizzDev 3v3 Flutter main for some reason. For some ungodly reason, they're using this. Thankfully, it's gone. It only took one Pokemon. But as of Kuda, Kuda kind of went crazy here, so I'm a little upset. Um, they could very easily go into something like her Shifu and click a button. They actually go Glamora, which I'm more than okay with. I really don't care about T-Spikes going up because I can always court change later. But I think I'm just going to go... Hmm. I was thinking about going Malamar. But I don't know. It just invites in, like, the... Do it just sucks because the Dondozo and Cloud side is, like, stop literally everything. Um... See, so yeah, if I truly don't... Okay, you know, you're right. I truly don't care about T-Spikes. I'm going to U-turn into Enam. I'll just... I'll just quote change them later. Not a big deal. I can't absorb them easily, but I can court change them easily, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm faster than everything now. Barring, like, Scarf, Zoroark, or something. Um, and I just, I just I just forgot Zoroark's on the team, so it was actually good that I did that. If they raw Sludge Wave, good play, but I think they're going to go for, like, Rocks or something. Or Earth Power. That'd be the, that'd be the best. Mud Shot. Even better. Even better. That actually would have... Doesn't that lower speed? It actually would have heightened my speed. Anyways, Earth Power is very free. They die. Let's go. Enam for president. And we'll see what happens, man. They're, it's For the most part, it seems like they have like a 3v3 team thus far. I mean, Fizzdev, Fluttermane. Um, you know, it, it just feels that way. It kind of just feels... I, I, I'm getting that vibe. Although they weren't booster energy. So, like, I don't know what they were. Fizzdev, like... I don't know. Unless, unless I just completely missed the booster energy pop, I just don't think it did. I don't think one popped. Maybe it did, though. Maybe it did, though. Regardless, I mean, we're here. You know, Enam's in. Enam kind of goes fucking crazy. It's Zorok. Okay, so they had this go in last. Um, I think if I just Terra, don't I just kill? I, I, I mean, I'm not calcing it. Like, I don't. I haven't been calc. I'm not going to calc anything, dude. I'm just going to Terra and, like, murder. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, dude. We ball. Let's go. It's the Enam video instead. I tried. I tried Malamar. I really did. But, you know, I'm going against Claude Sire Dondozo. I can't really help you. I can't really help you. But what we can do is pick off this kill. And get some stat boost out of it. Surprised they didn't... Oh, they just nasty... Wait, they're faster. Is that normal? Oh, Enam's not base 110. For some reason, I thought Enam was base 110. This should die, though. This should totally die, though. He was like 106 or something. Oh, that didn't die. Damn, should have moonblasted. Uh, a nasty plot will in fact kill us. I have to save this. So I gotta sack something off. Guess who's getting sacked off, guys? <laughs> oh, it's probably Malamar. I mean, I have Psycho Cut for the Claude Sire, which is really nice. I guess... I mean, like, this is good for a Shifu. Which is the annoying part. But it also gets walled by the Dondozo. They don't know that, but they'll find out very, very quickly. So I'm just gonna sack this off. We sack this off. We go into Chinderace. If they click Shadow Ball here, this is great. But, I mean, they, they can click High Voice the next turn. So, it's like, whatever. But, but whatever, you know? Regardless, Enam's still alive, which is great. They're going to Terra themselves, which I wish they would have done last turn. But they didn't. Very unfortunate. But, yeah, hopefully they click, uh... Oh, they're clicking Hyper Voice. Okay, got it. They know about it. They know about the Bulletproof. Hyper Voice. So this should kill me. I mean, if they're Life Orb, this will be good too, because, uh... Yeah. This is fine. So I think... I actually think I just go back into Cinderace. And, oh, uh, what are they? Oh, Throats? Sick. Super dope. Anyway, Cinderace outpaces, which is great. Shout out to the homie. So we just get to go in here and get a free U-turn. Back into Enam, because it doesn't allow anything to come in. Besides the Cloud Sire. Which I, uh might pivot out of anyways, so that's fine. Do they really forfeit? I mean, not forfeit. Did they really rage quit? Are we kidding me? Like, come on, dude. You had a whole, there's a whole game to go. You turn out the game. There's a whole game to be played, bro. 
Like, you have a Claude Sire and a Dondozo and a Shifu left. Like, you could have, you know, you could have prevailed. Did they only bring three Mons? Wait, am I tweaking? Oh, we'll never know. I I'll go, I'm going to go back and check the footage right now because I want to know. Okay, so a bit of an update. They did bring all six Pokemon. They did just Rage Quit for some reason. Um, and also, I could have totally not sacked Chestnut. I could have went hard, Rebomb Bay, and then Revenge because it was in range of all of my moves. Um, and I would have lived because of the Focus Sash. But no, now that I'm saying that out loud, I would have got T-Spike. So never mind. I made the right play, all in all. Uh, anyways, uh, a very interesting team. Looks like somewhat of a potential semi... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Trick Room-ish team. Anyways, Rebomb Bay, outside of getting up webs, looks super, super good here. I don't really want to get up webs because the Malamar... They also have a Malamar, which is pretty cool. So if either of our Malamar pops off, maybe I'll be able to put the homie on the thumbnail. Let's go. <laughs> but more importantly, uh, Cinderace gets hard walled by Prim. <gasps> Very unfortunate. And Doxbun. Um, but Enam goes crazy, as always. This probably is an Enam endgame, from what I can tell. Um, if they do lead off with Nine Tails, I think I just click Moonblast and then Moonblast again. And then cha-cha real smooth. I didn't take a picture of the team. But yeah, I don't know what that I don't know if it was with that last guy. They were like, man, fucking Zorark didn't work, man. I'm out of here. Like it is dipped. Like hard dipped. They're like, I'm closing the fucking game. And it's funny too, because they're like the character name was like some, like it was RJXY with the trademark symbol. So like, I don't know. I, you would you you would think they would have more um Is Pride the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Uh, regardless, uh this Pokemon's in I am definitely clicking the bug buzz. Super effective hit. That is not AV. Let's fucking go. What are you? They're trick rooming with the best of them. So we could actually get up webs. Uh, and because like the Malamar being faster would actually be pretty funny. Anyways, I need to uh, take a picture of this team because I forgot to. Uh, but yeah, trick room is a hell of a drug. But yeah, I'm pretty confident that I don't need the webs because everyone like... I think Malamar, I think all my Pokemon are going to outpace everyone besides like Ninetales and Garchomp um, in terms of my slow guys. So yeah, I'm cool with just like staying in, clicking Bug Buzz again. They click Psychic. I won't die. We ain't never dying. Big crit. We would have died had we not had the Sash of Truth. <laughs> we totally would have died. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We get to waste one more turn of the Trick Room. I, I, I could have Moonblasted as like a, you know, uh, neutral play in case they like for whatever reason went Prim. But, I mean, I, I, I just click Moon Blast. If they do go Prim, I think I click Stun Spore. Um, Because that'll be funny. But I guess Chip on it is also nice. But they go Malamar. In the, okay. Okay. They're going for it. I don't have a Ghost type. But I do have a U-Turner. Do I die to plus one Malamar? I mean, we'll find out, won't we? Ladies and gentlemen. We'll fucking find out. What if I just go out in a mine afterwards and Terra Fairy? And then what after that? Superpower as well? No, I Terra Blast. Raw, wouldn't I? Anyways, let's look at that. Uh, while we're contemplating, three turns of Trick Room. Can we survive? Bug Buzz. Okay, they do Superpower as they should. I mean, this is a Malamar versus Malamar matchup, dude. This is what, all, this is what everybody wanted. All right? So if I Terra Fairy... And they're plus... What if we just both spam this move? Like, what could they possibly have to hit me? They're bulk. They're probably bulkier than me because I have speed investment. Yeah, they're probably way bulkier than me. But I still think this is... I'm gonna do it. I'm fucking doing it. I think it's funny. Was good. Oh, shit! This is a sick animation! I didn't know he could do this! That's sick because Rebombi was floating in her natural animation beforehand... And then Malamar comes out right out. That's so cool. That could have happened three times over, but it actually never came out of its Pokeball in the first video we did with this Pokemon. Anyways, they could knock off, which would suck. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click Superpower. Fuck, they did. Oh, that did so much damage. Wait, why'd that do so much? Oh, cause they're plus one. Duh. What the fuck's wrong with me? Um. Hmm. So now I'm at plus one, plus one. They're at plus one, plus one. If I Terra Fairy with no item. Damn, I was really banking on lefties. If I Terra Fairy with no item, I shouldn't 
die to any move. Hold on, guys. I told myself I wasn't going to calc today just because I was, like, being, feeling really lazy. But now I am. I'm calcing everything, bro. 20%. We wouldn't die to knockoff or superpower. Oh, well, no. They're probably adamant. Yeah, or brave. You know what I mean? Okay, so never mind. Superpower always guarantee kills us. Fuck me. How do I revenge this guy? <laughs> Their Malamar is popping off. There's two more turns of Trick Room, right? One. Okay, this is actually perfect. Damn, if I... If I could survive, that'd be so cool. But I don't think I can. They click... Okay, I wasn't going to survive that if they were uh, attack boosting nature, which they definitely are, because they don't need any other boosting nature. But they're now plus two defense. Plus two attack. I mean, I feel like a Cinderace U-turn kills. Who's the dimensions return to normal? That's amazing. Then as you turn says it kills. I could also go Enam. I'm gonna go Cinderace. <laughs> just, just... Oh man, what a Pokemon. Malamar. Oh wait, it definitely won't kill because it's gonna be um It's gonna be what's it called? Let's see if we kill. Cinderace is actually honestly Cinderace was probably the most Okay, nice, thank god. Cinderace was probably the most sackable mon on the team. Just because of like it gets walled by Garchomp. I do have double edge. No, never mind. We got double edge. Never mind. Never mind. Let me stop. We can turn into a normal type. Um, what allows nothing? This guy. Let's go, Azelf. So my Malamar didn't do a damn thing, but their Malamar did in fact get a kill. So I mean, good for them, I suppose. Or two kills, technically. Not technically, actually. They actually got two kills. Um, but yeah, I'm trying out here. Anyways, Primarina. Primarina. Handa Uh, there's a song from somewhere. Uh, prim, pr prim de la prim. Like my beat down low and my prim laid back. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, prim arena. How much is Psy Shock doing? Psy Shock is two hit KO in. I would mystical power on some crazy shit, but I don't want to miss. And I don't. Oh, I got Thunderbolt too. And I don't want to give him a free turn, so I'm just gonna Psy Shock. This is why we run it for these depth invested Pokemon like Prim Arena. Big damage. Big damage. I totally could have mystical powered into this. But I didn't want to miss. They psychic noise. They are in fact liquid voice. Thankful. I, I, I don't know why they chose to do that instead of like Moonblast. But whatever. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> now we just got our answer, guys. <laughs> two opponents. Two hyper voice users. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, See, I'm going to Psyshock because I'm scared of missing. So I'm just going to Psyshock. I'm glad I kept Psyshock on here. I was thinking about it. Like, when I was building the team, I was like, Psyshock or Dazzling Gleam? Psyshock would be nice if we run into, like, the one random Blissey or Chansey user. Or, I guess, even, like, just any Spadef Pokemon like Prim. Who wouldn't have guaranteed got 2 would by Mystical Power. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Mystical Power actually would have done zero. <laughs> if it was, like, AV. It wasn't AV. But, like, if it was, like, it did zero. <laughs> like, it actually does, like, nothing. Um, but, yeah, this Azelf's, like, in. It's primed and ready. We got this guy. Garchomp, I think I can just... I mean, I think I probably just side shock just in case, once again. You know what I mean? But I really don't want them to, like... SD scale shot me, you know? That could be tough. If they SD here... I'm switching into Enam, like, 100% if they SD here. But they also, they also could just scale shot. But then maybe, like, this guy does something. If they do that. Uh, so yeah, I think all in all, just Psy Shock. Let's see if they raw scale shot or if they SD. Big damage. Raw scale shot is a little scary. Dragon Rush, or even better. Perfect. Maybe they're a blunder policy. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to think about it. Um, so they have Garchomp, Ninetales, and Dak run still around. Um, I think I just got into my guy here. Cinderace, double edge Cinderace is going to do something. I, I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. Although, I think Enam might just win from this range. I'm pretty sure if I just Moonblast this. I should. I should. No, you're right. 100% I'm doing this instead. Because this will kill. This will give me a plus one special attack. And if they randomly Terra Steel here to, to live the Moonblast, I also will kill them. Because it will be super effective. So, yeah. this is this was This was always my plan. Did, bro, really? Two ra really? Does Stellar Enam make people just rage quit? Like, what the hell, man? 
Like, like Stellar Enam just makes people rage quit. Like, like, hold on. I want to show you guys. I'm still online. We're staying here on this black screen. I'm showing you. I'm still 100% online. This person disconnected. The second person in a row to disconnect in front of Stellar Enam. Like, what the fuck? Well, actually, no. The first guy disconnected on the Cinderace U-turn after Enam switched out. But still, the fact of the matter is... See? Like, someone is disconnected. Hold on. We're going to press A again. And then you're going to see the online symbol. There, right? I'm just saying. I'm online. Hi! I'm online. Let's try to get another battle in. All right, here we are for the super special third battle, man. Let's see if we can actually finish a fucking game. Uh, Cinderace looks absolutely insane here. Um, the Skelly Dirge looks to be very, very problematic. If, like, Azov goes down early, which I kind of want to lead off with it. Um, not gonna lie. I think Mystical Power into clicking buttons looks pretty good. Um, they could also, like, they have, like, really, like, like, four really good leads on this team, I would say. All of which Cinderace doesn't care about. Besides the Glim, of course. But I could always court change later, which is what I plan on doing anyways. Um, so yeah, let's just loot Cinderace. It looks pretty good. Uh, no, I convinced myself otherwise. I'm gonna, like, they probably lead Galvantula. But I think Azelf is just as good into Galvantula as Cinderace is. So it's fine. Uh, let's just go for it. Because we can Mystical Power into Fire Blast. Or probably just Mystical Power into Psy Shock. <laughs> Just so we don't miss. And then probably Fire Blast on the, uh, um, uh, what's it called? The Dark Type? King Gambit. If they try to bring that in afterwards. But they probably would just go Gren afterwards. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they do lead Glamorous. This was great for us. I'm gonna click Mystical Power because it's very, very free. No reason not to. No reason not to. I'm not gonna miss. I'm not checking accuracy. It's 100% to me, man. It's... Oh, perfect. So they're going out into one of the dark types. Greninja. That's a very bold move there, buddy. A very bold move indeed. Um, But it's in. It's in. And it's ready to stay. I don't have switch-ins to this Pokemon. But I do have a Chestnut that I don't care about. So I'm going to just go into that. I don't need this Mon to like win the game. Um, If they want to go in a Glim, I just, I'll just Earthquake it. Uh, into Trailblaze, and then, like I said, I can just Court Change later. Not a big deal. Like, I can always pull off a Court Change in front of, uh... Oh, good I good Ice Beam read. I didn't want this Pokemon anyway, so, like, that, that was still a good read, though. I, I, I... Do we see Life Orb Chip? Oh my god, it's Battle Bond. Um... Life Orb Chip? Life Orb Chip? Anybody? 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 Life Orb Chip? Life Orb Chip. Okay. So, we're going to be Revenges. That's great. <laughs> Unless it's Terra, what the call um, whoo, that was crazy. Uh, I mean, I could stun spore it, I guess. I could stun spore it. But I'm scared. I mean, I'm just gonna go over Bombi. Like, they probably should Terra here. If they, like, if they want to just win right now, they should Terra Poison. But I don't know what they are. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna Moonblast. Perfect. Okay, just don't freeze me and we'll be fine. Why they chose to click Ice Beam there, I'll never know. But whatever. Unless they were going for the Hex. Regardless, we're faster than everything in the game. So we can, in fact, get up our webs. The question remains, do we need them? The answer is we don't need them, but we could definitely get them up. Because even if we court change them back onto our side, it doesn't matter. Because none of my guys get negatively affected by it. So yeah, if we both want to just click webs here, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, But I'm actually just going to click Moonblast first. To break this guy's potential Sash. As they thunder and miss. Compound Eyes missing a thunder is kind of insane. Not gonna lie. And you know what? I just realized and I'm so glad I did. I don't want to get webs up for them. Because they have a superior. So we're not doing that. <laughs> so thankfully they also don't get up webs. So that means like when I do inevitably court change the potential T-spikes from Glamora. Uh, it's a non-factor. So that's great. They go into Skelly Dirge. Perfectly fine. I'll probably stun spore this I guess. Um, I don't really have... Yeah, I mean, I just stun spore it. I guess, like, Moonblast chip to see if they're lefties or something would be nice, but... Whatever. They probably just click, uh... The fire move here, Torch Song. Get a nice little Spatak raise. Uh, but now I think we go into Azelf and start clicking buttons again. And then if they pivot into King Gambit on the Azelf, I think I just... I think I just Terrifier and start doing the thing. I could also go out into this and, like, Earth Power could be a play. 
Um, could also go into this and knock off. I'm actually gonna do that instead. Malamar's finally gonna fucking do something, guys. I'm gonna knock off. We're knocking your item off. Oh, he's floating again! Let's go! Good animation! Anyways, we're knocking off. Max attacker. Malamara. Can't superpower this, guys. So, this is what we're doing. Big knocks. What did you have on? Lefties. Alright, so that did about half. And they burn me! Very unfortunate. So they probably, uh, what's it called here? Like, slack off? So I am gonna make the Azelf play, even though it's like very, very hazardous to make this Azelf play. I'm still doing it. Let's do it. I don't even know if we 2 a KO with Mystical Power. I really hope so. But let's see. What's this Pokemon's name? Skelly. It's defensive. That much we know. Oh, let's go. Let's actually go. That was actually so fucking clutch. Oh, wait. Let's find out if it's defensive or not. Because... Malamar with knockoff. Yeah, it's 100% fizz def. Bold and brash. Yeah, and we got like a lowish roll. So that's kind of insane. Um, so take that out. Take that out. Take that out. How much is Azelf doing to it now? Uh, neither kills. <laughs> but Mystical Power does put it in range of everything else. Enam also comes in and revenges after. I wish I'd want hard Enam there, but I was scared. Um... So yeah, we'll mystical power. And land, baby. Let's get full parrot again. Oh, never mind. We got a crit. Did we? Did we get a crit? Is that a crit? I feel like that was a crit. No? No crit? No crit? That's just damage. That's just life. Why did that why does my calc say it doesn't kill then? Hello? Oh, unless we got a high roll, I guess. Yeah, we could have got a high roll. Anyways, I go out in a superior. And I'm about to reveal it, dudes. I'm about to reveal it, dudes. So we're at plus one. I mean, Psy Shock like, has a chance to kill you as well. But I'm going to click it. Fire Blast, baby. Let's go! Big ass elf landing. Things you love to see. So, I mean, this is also just strengthening King Gambit. Um, I don't even think a Terra Fire would save me from the King Gambit. How do I... How do I beat that? Yeah, they're just sacking everything off for King Gambit. They're literally just sacking everything off for King Gambit. Um, that's tough. Yeah, like they're you're genuinely unless it's a sash as well. No, yeah, they're just sacking everything off for King Gambit. That's their end game. All right, well, let's see it. King Ambit with five dead. This mon definitely clutches up potentially. I think I do Terrifier though. Onto the guy. Okay, let's see. Let's look. Supreme Overlord. Okay, and I think five are dead. Oh, and he's Air Balloon. That's interesting. So, yeah. Uh, five, in fact, are dead. Sucker Punch, even if I tear a fire, kills me. If it's Black Glasses. And it's not Black Glasses, because it's Air Balloon. So, yeah, it definitely still kills me. So, there's no reason for me to click anything else here. Besides T-Bolt. To guarantee damage. Perfect. If they tear flying... And if they tear flying... And Swords Dance, we win. I think. No, maybe not. We'll see. Please. 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 I'm just begging. Oh, let's go. That's got to kill. Easy money. Man, I wish this was the Azel video, bro. Azel popped off in the third one, but Enam made them rage quit in the... <laughs> let's go with third rage quit. That's three rage quits in one video, man. What more do you want? If you're not subscribed already, guys, you got to after that one. You fucking got to after that one, buddies. You got to subscribe after that one. You also got to leave a like and a comment down below. I mean, holy shit. Let's fucking go, dude. That's so fire. I don't know why rage quits make me feel good, but they do. You know what I mean? Like... You've, you provoked that strong of an emotional reaction out of somebody to where they close their game. They press the home button and then close their game. Like 100%. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why, but that just really, that really gets me hyped. But um, yeah, man, Enam popped off. Azelf did great. Once again, Malamar did not get to do a damn thing. But hey, you know, we'll, maybe we'll try again with Malamar in the future. But um, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll steal that one guy's idea with the Trick Room shenanigans in the first battle, right? That was the first battle, right? No, that was the second battle. Regardless, 
good at good ass series of battles man that, that's gonna be it for me guys if you guys aren't already subscribed you fucking got to after that one if you all like what you saw and you saw what you like don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new also let me know in the comment section down below any other new pokemon you guys might want to see me use in the future you never know we just might use it with that being said guys i'm gonna get about here we'll see you all in the next one peace <laughs>